Hello everybody, it's Cathy here. How are you doing today? And happy International Women's Day, 8th of March today. Um, so today in this live stream, I'm going to be talking about the different states of doing and being. So these days, in our culture, in our Western cultures, we're so busy and there just doesn't seem to be enough hours in the, in the day most of the time and we, we live in our heads, we're kind of like juggling the time that, that we have available between, between our work and our families and um, our social life and all the other responsibilities and activities that we have going on in our lives and we're, we seem to be constantly in that doing mode whether that's in activities or just busy thinking uh, and it's like we we are this hose that's just turned on most of the, most of the time when that's happening when your hose is on the whole time that's when the energy is going out from you and there's not there's no space for you to receive we're not in that receiving mode and receiving comes from a state of being so if you're not receiving the abundance that you feel you work for, you know, you're working hard to, to get the abundance that you would love to have in your life, then this could be part of that. So I'm Kathy. I'm a transformation coach. I'm a spiritual teacher and a healer and a, a channel. I help spiritual seekers to really push the boundaries of possibility so they can grow beyond what they're currently living and being and, and create more flow, more abundance and more happiness in their lives. So today I invite you to spend, hi Sonia, spend a few minutes with me just being mindful of what's going on inside you as I talk about this topic. Because uh, you'll, you'll feel uh, something in your body like a sense of attention or a resistance. As we touch on things that are true, your body will speak to you. So put your awareness down from your head into your body and uh, your your body will start speaking to you the more that we sort of go into this and in a short while i'll be taking you through a really short energy exercise that you uh, that was going to help you to just practice receiving so you can fill up on energy and have turn that hose off and make be a receptacle so that the energy can come to you and that will raise your vibration which then of course makes you much more attractive to the the abundance that you're desiring uh, so thanks so much for joining me live and or for watching the replay. I really love teaching about consciousness and abundance from my own observ observations of myself um, and, and how things have been operating in my life. And it's, it's from that that I then it, that gives me stuff to share with you. So this has been something that's been quite um, I've been really aware of for myself recently. And I know that when I'm in flow, and things are effortlessly working out in my life, I'm in my heart, I'm relaxed, I'm happy or having fun and um, often I'm not thinking about work at all and I'm usually not in that state of trying or efforting. Uh, I'm in a state of allowance, of receptivity, openness, curiosity and I've kind of let go of control, I've surrendered that. So does that resonate with you what what when you're in flow how does it feel and where is your energy i'd love it if you could you know just pop your thoughts about what how you experience flow pop them in the box for me so another thing to do is take yourself back to this morning when you first woke up and where did you go what was your first awareness was it um thinking about the day ahead, was it work, was it getting the kids ready for school, maybe some challenges that you've got going on, um, something that you're creating, maybe you've got something worries happening or a, a big to-do list or you're planning, maybe thinking things through, working things out. Maybe you were working on your, your life vision or maybe you weren't doing any of that kind of stuff and you were just being in the space and meditating and just being an empty vessel so just notice where you were and where was your energy was it mostly in your head or were you in your body how aware of your body were you 
from so that was this morning the very first thing and how has your day progressed how much have you been uh giving thinking of others being in that space of anticipating or um you know busy working organizing things achieving going from one thing to another that needs doing one client to the next with hardly a pause how how much does that resonate with you I've I've kind of been doing a bit of that because I've I've had a lot to squeeze in but I actually had um just before this call Sonia just did a beautiful uh crystal harp um sound bath and so for me that was a, an opportunity to stop and open up and receive <laughs> so how much has your energy been going out rather than you creating space to allow it to come in so thank you Sonia that was so beautiful when you tune into the word being how does that feel how does it feel to like when we're doing and we're in that headspace we're there's a, there's a certain feeling in the body there's a, a certain energy of that so how is it different when you tune into the word or the state of being what do you notice where is it, where is your energy do you feel it is that still in your head or do you feel it throughout your whole body what what does being feel like to you Is it a sense of openness, or for me anyway, it's a sense of um, openness, expansion, peace. And being in a, a space of receiving. So why, why is it that we have our hoses on the whole time? Why, how have we got to be in such a, an out of balance sort of uh, way of living and being? Um, so I've been exploring this quite a bit over the last sort of month or two and part of it is that we when we've got our hoses on the whole time it's like it gives us more control it's much easier to be in control when you're giving rather than receiving because when you're receiving you have to be vulnerable you have to be like open and surrender because you can't control what comes to you you can't control what what life wants to give you and you know for if you're a bit of a control freak that's that's quite a hard place to be so we you know our natural default is to to give to fill that because it feels really uncomfortable to not be in control and the other another really important thing is that we feel that we're valuable that we have something valuable about us when we're giving we value giving uh, and we don't because we don't value ourselves purely just for existing just for being us without doing just just for being who we are however that is is absolutely valuable and um, but we don't we don't value that normally and if you big, dig a bit deeper than that you often find that under the busyness that we occupy ourselves with, there's quite deep feelings of unworthiness, worries that we might not be enough as we are, that we might be rejected if we don't do something, um, or that we, we don't give more, or that we can't fulfill responsibilities, or you know any of these things. And we don't want to feel that. So we unconsciously create this habit of doing to hide that, to, to stop us ever having to experience it. So as I have been talking to you about, about this sense of like some of the, some of the uh, reasons that we might fill ourselves with busyness, uh, what are you aware of in your body? Does some of it resonate? And what if you were enough? What if you were ex enough exactly as you are to receive all the good that you could possibly desire without having to justify yourself, without having to work hard for it, uh, without having to be perfect, just purely being you? How would that be? Could you, could you accept that? And again, tune into your body. Just feel if there's any sense of resistance, any sense of curiosity, maybe any sense of openness. Just just notice what's there. So I wanted to 
uh, take you through just a little exercise so that you can fill up and you can uh, just carve out these few moments for yourself. So I would like you to just do a just sit there quietly not looking at the screen just kind of soft eyes and just watch your breath but leave your eyes open and just notice your breath notice how your body moves around your breath notice all the little movements in your body all the muscles moving as you're breathing And as you breathe, allow your breath to get wider and deeper. Breathing right down into your belly. And as you watch your breath, just also notice what's going on in the room around you. Notice the colours, the shapes of things. Notice any smells, aromas, scents. Notice any sounds. Notice how your body feels. Notice how the clothes feel next to your skin. The temperature in the room. Notice how your body feels sitting in the chair that you're in. How your feet feel connected to the ground. noticing through all of your senses and as you're doing this and you're allowing yourself to use your senses you're receiving you're drawing in from the universe around you and as you do it just be really mindful not to label anything not to give commentary feeling the energy of different things that you might see so if you've got flowers in your room don't not go Oh, look, there's some beautiful uh, roses. Just absorb the energy of, of that shape, of the colour that they are. Words tend to encase things. And if you just allow things to be, then you can just absorb the energy of them. Just keep allowing yourself to draw everything in. And notice how this impacts your energy. Notice the energy field around you, the quality of the energy, the sensations in your body and just outside of your body. Just let go of any kind of judging. Again, any kind of mental commentary. Just drawing everything in with your senses. Following your breath. Okay, great. Okay, so you can do this number of times through the day. How does how does it feel for you to just pause like that? It's not really a, a meditation per se. It's just pausing and turning the hose off so that you can draw it in. How does your energy feel from having done that? Just feel into your body, feel into your, your heart. Just feel, feel your energy. How was that for you? Is that something that would be easy for you to do? Could you make... Is if this felt good for you, could you make this part of your just like you know to stop for two or three minutes at different times through the day? It's a really simple process just to, to to turn it around and fill yourself up. So when I I find that um, you know, if I'm busy marketing or I'm preparing for a program or a workshop or something that I'm going to be um, running it really takes me into that sense of doing and I'm thinking and I'm planning and I'm, I'm so like in my head, 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 you know, the whole, the whole time. And, and that's when I cut, cut myself off from the flow, which is so ironic because it's about 
you know, I teach about flow. So it, it's really frustrating. And, um, and I've been looking for a different way to do this for a, quite a long time. And I, so I play around with this, with, with, uh, you know, just the consciousness of when I'm doing and when I'm being. And I, I've, I've experienced so much more of the being as I, have it um as I've been practicing it and and releasing a lot more of my fears and letting go of the doing um because there's there's a lot of trust involved in being and so I I guess over the last couple of years I've been really kind of going into this in quite a deep way um and what I haven't got there the whole way at all I'm still in process of learning but things have got so much easier so much calmer so much more abundant and this is a real new paradigm way of living and being it is about slowing down it's about connecting it to your heart and feeling and and doing the opposite of doing and that's what's counterintuitive and it's about asking what would be fun because when you're in fun and you're in that sense of play your heart is lifted you're connected much more easily to source so if you can be in that place and ask, for example, you know, what would be uh, the most loving thing for me and my, what, what's the most loving um, for me and my workshop attendees to experience, for example, you know, and, and really get, I can really get into that vibration of what that would be and, and receive that vibration. It's not about then, um, and it's like about when you're, when you can embody this vibration and then write your marketing copy from there, there's a whole different energy to it. And it doesn't have to be just about like work stuff. This could be any kind of desires and intentions, you know, how could I effortlessly and easily call in 10,000 pounds this month, for example, or how could I effortlessly and easily call in, the perfect cleaner for my house or to find the perfect place up for my child at a certain school that you're really wanting to put them into or you know to to fill your program or workshop whatever it is that you're you're desiring to experience feel it first feel it be it receive it and just sense that in your body and with a sense of love a sense of openness a sense of playfulness it's about uh, you have to come from that place first before you get into the doing. And you are infinitely powerful. You're an infinitely, an infinite being connected to all that is, to the one field of consciousness. And that field is always responding to your energy. It's, it responds to the vibration that you're being in, in any given moment. So you know, through the principles of, of quantum physics and law of attraction, the universe will organize itself to be a match for what you're focusing on. So it makes sense that to practice more of this will bring more of what you're wanting to experience into your life. You know, the, it's an intelligent universe. And if you can believe in your infinite self and in, in your creative power, then you, you need to then hand over that um, the, the making it happen to the universe. The thing that I think stops many of us is that we then kick into the doing state. We think, oh, or, you know, it's the default is I now have to make this happen. So you get into force and effort and masculine energy and you then step away from the, allowing the universe to help you, which is all about doing this from a place of ease and uh allowing yourself to to you know have that commitment to acting when the timing's right but it's about letting the universe do most of the heavy lifting for us it, it is a real paradigm shift so um i know that this this process this paradigm shift this way of being is not an easy thing to do on our own it's not easy to trust that process because all of our limiting beliefs they just rise up we can't see ourselves but we are powerful and you can create from this place, but you, you do need support. You need other people to do this for you, to, to show you where you're 
stepped out of your power and you're in your small self and you're in your your limiting beliefs that are influencing you so that you can transcend them so work with other people to do this you know find someone who uh is specialized in being able to spot your when your stories are operating you know if you have some dreams and desires um that you want to that you want to manifest in your life then there's nothing stopping you from experiencing them other than what's be between your ears you know you, they're all totally possible whether that's finding a long-term loving relationship or discovering your purpose and how you want to contribute to the world or just experiencing peace and happiness within maybe more sense of ease and spaciousness or you know going enough traveling and doing some of those things on your bucket list all of this is absolutely possible and but you do need to be able to face these fears fears and limiting beliefs and whatever's there that's keeping you in your current level of consciousness and so if you feel that you want to kind of explore this and you want to do it with me because this is what i do through my coaching um then you'd be really really welcome to just jump onto a a call with me just an exploration to see what's possible to see what it is that you're wanting to achieve where you feel you might be stuck and you know what ways we could move through those uh so that you can really step into that life that's e full of ease abundance um joy happiness and a sense of satisfaction because you're contributing who you are to the world in a, in a much greater way uh, if you'd like to do that i will put the link in the box below um otherwise i've also got my activate abundance workshop coming up uh on the 21st of april and one also on the 28th of april in worthing so the first one's in um buckinghamshire second one's in worthing i'll put the links in the description as well but if you have any questions or comments at any time then do, do just message drop me an email at kathy at kathyballard.com because i'd love to hear from you but uh, that's it from me for today and i look forward to catching you next time see you later